One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you, yeah Got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought I would do a quick Aldi haul because I just think it's quite a highly requested video and also now my little girl is pretty much off formula altogether um, and she's eating with us mainly. I thought I would just literally show you what we get slash spend as a family of four. Um, there's obviously two adults in the house, a three year old and a one year old from next week and both children eat with us mainly there's only the odd time that they will eat without us and um, like this evening for example josh isn't home until late so we're gonna have tea separately to them but they pretty much eat the same thing anyway give or take like a little bit of meat um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you what we've got, what we spend. So spend-wise is a bit difficult. We always shop at Aldi. A very rare occasion we'll go to Tesco, but we always spend more money. Today's shop was £108.82. Last week's shop was like £99. The week before, no word of a lie, it was £140. But I feel like we buy the same thing, so I'm like, I don't understand how it was that much. It's probably just things like toilet roll, bleach. Um, we did buy salmon that week, actually, that add up. And we used to buy fresh pasta. I've actually stopped buying that because I just think it's, it's just little things like that that add up. There's nothing wrong with dry pasta. We were just very spoiled having fresh pasta all the time. We eat a lot of meat in this house. Josh eats four or five meals a day. I eat three or four meals a day. Um, we are quite meat friendly slash meat strong in this house. Start with the cold stuff first and then head on to the dry stuff. Um, so I'm going to start with the meat so I can get it in the fridge. But first I always buy a massive pack of chicken because it's just obviously better for better value the more chicken you buy the cheaper it becomes and what i'll do is i'll freeze half of this and then just put the rest in the fridge um, but we will eat this whole pack of chicken within five six days then i get the five percent fat beef meatballs they are so easy to do just literally shove them in the air fryer have them with like a pasta make tomato sauce then I've got a 750 gram 5% fat mince. We always get 5% fat beef, whether it's the burgers, the mince, or the beef balls. Beef balls? Meatballs, beef meatballs. <laughs> because yeah, it's obviously just lowering calories and better for you to don't have as much fat content. Um, chicken sausages are always a winner in our house, especially for our little boy Casper and me as well. I do love a chicken sausage. And then I don't always get this, but today I decided to buy some smoked salmon slices to have with eggs as like my lunch. That's what I'm going to have for lunch today. So I'm just going to quickly pop this meat away. Just, oh, in fact, I also buy these chicken skewers. So they're just like a 10 pack of little satay chicken skewers and these just become like a bit of a picky lunch so sometimes we'll do like casper a little snack plate and he'll have things like this on with breadsticks grapes cheese a few animal biscuits something like that a few and then sometimes i'll take a pack to work as well because it's just an easy way of getting protein in with chicken satay sticks drink wise i've literally just got some semi-skimmed milk and we always buy some orange juice we always get freshly squeezed orange juice with bits then I've got two of the protein shakes. Just again, it's just like a little snacky thing to have in the fridge in case I end up like not having lunch and then I'll just grab a protein shake. And I've also got a turmeric shot because I just buy one a week, literally to just have on the Monday. Um, I don't really know why, but 
I just quite like taking them to be honest. Um, so yeah, this is all the drinks because our whole milk is from the co-op. We have um, Arla Cravendale filtered milk. I know I'll do a filtered milk, but to be honest, I don't know. I've not used it. And now we're getting Indy onto whole milk. I'm just using the Cravendale filtered because that's what I use with Casper. And I found that he transitioned to that really well. Whereas when I just used normal cow's milk at first, he was really, really badly constipated. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pop these away and then we'll go on to fruit and veg and yoghurt. Then veg wise, we've got a massive bag of spinach because we pretty much have spinach every day. Josh has it with his breakfast. I will have it with lunch if I have like an omelette or scrambled egg. And then sometimes we'll chop it up and pop it in the kids' food like hidden spinach. And we've got a box of rainbow salad. Again, just one of those filler things. I'll put it in a pit of bread. I'll have it with chicken on the side. Last night we had chicken, salad and potatoes for our tea, just me and Josh. We had tea when the kids were in bed. Um, so yeah, I, it's annoying when it's in plastic, but I feel like you just can't really get a salad in anything else these days. Berries wise, we've got strawberries, two packs of the wonky blueberries and some raspberries. The annoying thing about fruit is we always run out by like Thursday, Friday, but if I was to buy enough, it would just go off. Um, I am gonna go to B&M today and buy some more storage for fruit. I'm gonna start washing it and storing it in glass jars. I feel like we did do that for a while, but we've not done it for a long time. And also we didn't really have proper storage jars. I'm gonna get proper storage jars just for our fruit. Just see how long it lasts. And if it does, then I can buy some more. And we won't end up going to the co-op on like a Thursday and a Friday and spending an absolute fortune on fruit because we all know that the local co-ops are the most expensive shops on the planet. And we literally spend like a tenner on a Friday just on fruit because we've run out. It's ridiculous. This literally flies everywhere. Um, yeah, so that's the berries. And then we've got a bag of bananas. Again, it's annoying that they're in plastic. But I just find that if we get bananas out the plastic bag, we end up getting fruit flies for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because we live near loads of fruit fields and if we leave the door open for longer than five seconds, there's loads of flies in the house. But yeah, I just find if they're in bags, then we get less fruit flies. I guess I could put them in storage though. I could get like a little storage container for bananas maybe. Uh, we also buy frozen fruit because me and Josh have frozen fruit in our porridge. The, mainly the fresh fruit is for the kids and we'll have it on yogurt in yogurt on an evening but yeah we've got some frozen blueberries and some frozen some fruits these will be gone within a week as well because we have them in our porridge like i say then we've just got some baby mushrooms spaghetti bolognese omelettes that sort of thing baby mini apples um because I actually enjoy eating mini apples. There's less waste because when we chop an apple up for the kids, we don't usually tend to give them the whole apple. Whereas a mini one, they will pretty much share a mini apple. Bag of peppers. Then we have the squidgy pack of four yogurts. These are Casper's favourites. And then I've just got the little delights like the Petit Flu um, juice. And then we have four pots of Greek yogurt. This is probably another place that we spend money in the supermarket, but we both have Greek yogurt before bed. It's like our little protein, like dessert thing. About half eight, nine o'clock, we'll have Greek yogurt through and I have crushed meringue on mine. Josh has like honey. I think he has crushed wheat bix peanut butter, stuff like that. He has a lot bigger bowl than I do. Um, but yeah, we buy about four or five a week. So that is an other expense, but we just eat it. So it's just one of them things. We don't actually waste that much food in our house. The fridge at the minute has got a few like carrots left, a few peppers, but we never waste meat. We never waste yogurts. We hardly ever waste, we never waste fruit ever. Um, we hardly ever waste veg. Like there might be the odd carrot that needs to go in the bin, but other than that, we are very good at not wasting food. We went through a massive phase of always having to throw loads of veg away, so I don't buy as much veg anymore because obviously we were throwing it away. Um, 
yeah i'm just gonna pop all this away and then i will go through the dry stuff so we've got two bits of baked beans i actually went for the aldi baked beans I've never tried them before but again trying to save money where we can and i've stopped buying heinz now um and then i've just got three plum tomato tins because i feel like they're just something that we always run out of um so the more we forgot of them in the cupboard the better i always get plum tomatoes as well because there is less sugar than chopped tomatoes and they are cheaper um so yeah that's the fact of the day less sugar in plum tomatoes than chopped tomatoes and we've got five packs of basmati rice i actually didn't need five at all i should have checked before we've got four bags already but i always end up sometimes i buy like two and josh is like we've got no rice why have you only bought two so i bought five but yeah we really don't need five so next week i won't have to buy any then we've got a pack of 12 eggs i don't have eggs every day josh does has he has eggs every morning um, but I might have eggs for my lunch randomly one day. I might have like the odd egg breakfast. So a pack of 12 eggs. Bread wise, we've got soft pitters. I'll have for my lunch with like chicken or tuna. Um, these banana pancakes, the kids absolutely love them. In day especially, she will have them for a breakfast with the Ali toast and just put like peanut butter, not peanut butter, I put Kerrygold butter on or she'll just have them dry. Or sometimes I give them to Casper as a snack or like for his lunch, like a little snacky plate. But yeah, the kids absolutely love them. They used to do blueberry ones, but they've not sold them in my Aldi for quite a while now. Fruit loaf, again, snack. I'm trying to get really better at the kids' snacks rather than just giving in and being like, here's a pack of biscuits, here's a chocolate bar, here's chocolate biscuit, you know, here's a bag of party rings. I am trying to give them better snacks one cheaper because you're buying in bulk and two just better in them in general like less sugar less rubbish less artificial things fruit loaf casper loves toast at the minute so i think we went through a phase of buying fruit loaf not bought a fridge and saw it and i was like right i'm getting some fruit loaf because i can easily freeze it as well and um, so that'll be like one of casper's snacks and in days or even breakfast white toast we all eat it um, this is mainly for Josh, so we just get a tiger bloomer. He has two slices of toast every morning with his eggs. And he kind of changes, like, the bread that he has just to kind of switch it up, I think. But at the minute, he's really into this tiger bloomer. Bag of oats, because we eat oats every single day, all of us in this house. And then a bag of dry pasta. As I said before, we were buying fresh pasta a lot. Um, and even though it's, it's like £2 a bag, I think, fresh pasta but it only lasts for like one or two meals. Whereas this bag of dry pasta goes a lot further. Um, there's a lot more calories in the dry pasta, if that makes sense. So you don't use as much of it as the fresh pasta. And it's much cheaper. It's less than a pound. I just got some more light mayo. We've got some almond butter. Um, these are my snacks, so the fibre now, popcorn bars, strawberry and yoghurt, or I either buy the fibre one bars, but we've got quite a few of them left, and these were cheaper, so I went for these. You get two packs of dark chocolate, I have it in my porridge, Josh has it in his yoghurt, but we go through like one and a half a week. I forgot to show you the avocado, Indy has avocado on toast, she has avocado mashed up with pasta in like Philadelphia, she absolutely loves avocado. And I might have it for like my lunch with like scrambled egg and toast. So that is like the boring dry stuff. <laughs> Lastly, we've got like exciting kind of snacks and cereal. As I said before, I'm trying to buy less of these kind of things. So this is all I've got for like the kids snacks as such, like things that are sold for your four children. Um, so I've just got a bag of the double cookies. Um, just to fill into like his little snack box. Then I thought I'd try these for Indix. I've never tried them before. So they are the mini organic flavoured biscuits. Um, there is um, 1.8 grams of sugar in 100 grams. And the whole thing is 100 grams. So I'm hoping that they're all right for it. And then we've got some of the carrot puffs. So I just find these really easy to put in like the changing bag. 
cakes. So these are also snacks for Casper. Per rice cake, this 5.6 grams of sugar. Um, yeah, there's three in each little packet, but they're a lot less artificial than like party rings or a bar of chocolate or like a chocolate biscuit. And he does really enjoy eating them. And I think they fill him up a lot quicker as well. So the chocolate covered rice cake. Then breadsticks, we all eat breadsticks in this house and they are literally like 48p for a packet. We'll have them like before tea if we're all a bit hungry but tea's not ready or they'll go on like a snack plate for the kids. Really easy to give to Windy as well. Um, quite a safe snack really for early like toddlerhood. I've just topped up our cereal so I've got some of the blueberry fruit wheats. Again, Cass will have some of these as a snack in a bowl. Josh has them sometimes with his yogurt. Cass will have them as cereal. And then I thought I would just try these multigrain dino shapes because Casper's in a bit of the habit at the minute of having toast for breakfast. He wants two slices of white toast. And I'm not saying that's really bad, but he used to have like porridge with like whole milk, a tiny bit of protein powder, a bit of fruit, and he's just got in this really habit of like eating white toast so i thought i would try and tempt him to change his breakfast choices with some multigrain dino shaped cereal <laughs> because i feel like it, there'll be more to it than a bit of white toast and then just literally the boring stuff we always buy a pack of sparkling water because i just love sparkling water at the minute and we just pop these in the fridge and just grab one if we're leaving the house a bit of soap for the bathroom kitchen roll, swing bin liners for like the bedroom bin, the bathroom bins. I've just got one of these for our toilet because our toilet in our own suite is vile. I need to bring a plumber today actually. Um, it doesn't flush very well. For some reason I think the dirt from the outside somehow gets into the toilet and it just stinks so I just thought I would get one of these. And then I bought the kids a Halloween book, a Bing Halloween book. So it was one ninety nine, and it was by the tails. <laughs> and I bought it because I just love a holiday themed book and I love just having them around the house. I love changing the bookshelf up to like Halloween books. That is the last thing that I bought and that is the Aldi haul done. So £108. Sometimes I'll obviously like, I've not bought cheese this week. We went through a phase of buying grated cheese. One, it's expensive, and two, it's got a lot more artificial colours and flavours in it. I we were probably buying a bag of grated cheese a week, whereas now we buy a big block of cheese. It lasts like three weeks, so I'll probably have to buy some next week. And then obviously sometimes we buy a toilet roll. We don't need any toilet roll. Sometimes we'll obviously buy like cleaning products, spices, herb spices, but we didn't need anything like that this week either. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Aldi haul. Please let, me know, blah, please let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And I try to be a healthy family. Obviously, I do allow things like biscuits and little snacks like this. But we try to be as healthy as possible. Um, we don't eat, we don't buy much frozen food at all. Like, I don't really buy chicken nuggets or anything for the kids anymore. Um, I'm not saying that's bad, I just don't. Like, I just don't really go down that aisle. Um, we just mainly have quite fresh food. And I've got a few bits like that in the freezer anyway, so I'd only ever buy them if, like, as, like, a filler. But we don't need any like that right now. Sometimes I'm tempted to walk down the frozen aisle, but then I feel like I'd just buy something for the sake of it. If you shop at Aldi and you buy anything in the frozen aisle that's good for kids, please let me know because I will go and buy it and have it in the freezer as like a backup or like a little filler but because I don't go down the aisle I don't really know what there is because I don't really buy frozen food and never really have um but yeah let me know I did buy some little mini pizza slices once but and what else did I buy I can't remember I bought some sales cast ones but he didn't like it and sometimes I'll make him like turkey dinosaurs and he won't eat them um but yeah if there's anything down the frozen aisles that you as a family or your children like and it's relatively quite healthy then let me know and i will check it out but thank you so much for watching my video please make sure you hit the subscribe button guys and i will see you soon